Okay, guys, so this is a more detailed version or video, should we say, of uh, the knees to toes work that we're going to add into the program. First, we're just going to get straight into it. So, first one is the tibialis raise. So, we're working that, that, that tibial muscle um, that runs along the front of our shin, okay, and runs up to, to, to the lower part of the knee that supports the knee. All right, very rarely do we isolate it. Well, we don't isolate it, we do use it, but we don't isolate it. And this is a great thing. Um, with all these movements, we're working on muscular endurance, okay? So high reps. Technical points in. So, just the bum rests on the wall, haven't got the shoulders there. So the shoulders are off, there's a gap there, it's only your bum that's touching the wall. Feet are out nice and straight, toes are on the floor, okay? Knees are locked out. From here, I'm going to raise my toes as high as I can and then bring them back down. That's one, I'm gonna come all the way up, keep my legs locked out, two, three, four. Every time I raise up, that's the one, okay? So when we come down, if you're struggling to get, like you can't get your toes up, just get closer to the wall, guys, okay? Closer to the wall. I recommend barefoot because if you've got a slight arch, or slight, sorry, heel raise, it's going to really fight against you from getting your, your toes up. Okay, so stay barefoot will be easier. You can use some support if you're really struggling, you can use your back a little bit to take a bit of weight off. But ideally you want that bum off the wall. Oh, sorry, the, the back off the wall, the bum on the wall. Okay, so that, go back through again. Straight legs, back off the wall, toes up, back down. Okay, cool. Next one, I'm just going to just bring you around a little bit, there. Next one, we want arms nice and straight and we want to walk the feet out as far as we can to the point where your heels are raised up. Obviously, if you've got really good ankle mobility, you might get back and then there's, your heels don't raise. But get to a point where you're quite, quite long, okay? So heels are just slightly off the floor here. And then what I'm going to do now is this is the FHL car brake. So we're going to come up onto the balls of my feet as high as I can and then as low as I can. Trying to stretch down to the bottom. Up, down. We're sort of looking around about 25 reps. Same with the other movement. 25 reps. Yep. That's your car raises. Then you switch back round again. I've moved the camera. To go for your tip raises. Right from there and up. Back again, 25 reps. Your next movement is your knees over toes calf raises. So I'm gonna, is that you it says on the team? So I'm gonna take my knees over my toes as far as I can, all right? And that then takes my heels up. Some of you may be able to go there and still keep your heels down. Those guys have got good ankle mobility. I haven't, okay? maybe you haven't but there feet straight knees over toes right what we want to do now is keep the body upright and all of the only muscle that should be working is those calves coming up and i'm going to come back down straight back down on the route that i went so i'm not going like this or, or squatting okay it's just through the calves Up. Right, and that's your calf raises. Your next, okay, uh, knees over toes, calf raises. So your next movement is the Patrick step. I need you to do five and five, five sets of five. Okay, so you're doing 25 reps, you're breaking them down into fives so that you can control the movement. All right, I'm going to show you first some my bad legs, so I'm going to step out, I'm going to make sure that knee stays tracking the toe. Step so imagine that I was trying to like, step on eggshells, but not break, obviously break them. So I'm really just literally touching the floor and straight back up again. What I want to do is rest, come up. I want to control it, knee stays tracking the toe, it doesn't come in this, I'm showing you on this knee, because this knee loves to come in if I don't. Watch it, okay? And then I'm trying to come out to the range of my ankle. 
the full range of my ankle and trying to get the knee, the aim is to get the knee over the toe. Some of you won't be able to do that at first. Okay, some of you, I know some of you have got quite tight ankles. So, if that's the case, yeah, holding on to the wall, yeah, on the wall, and you can control the weight. Yeah, control the weight and you're stepping out too. But then also, you, if you use the wall, you've got a measuring tool to work off. Yeah, you've got something to work off, progression, measurable. Yeah, that's your movement. So that, obviously you've got the um, ATG uh, split squat, well that, I'll put that in a further video. Hope that's helpful.